now been uh, briefed a little bit further on what's going on here. Uh, the agility uh, equipment that's out there is not for an agility competition as such. It's for part of the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier display. So uh, the, there was a certain amount of confusion. No one was quite sure because following this, there is an agility event. And we saw the Staffies, uh, sorry, the Staffords, uh, come and uh, do a walk around and wave at the audience, and they've all gone off again now. And, uh, but okay, I think the commentary's about to start again, so let's hand go. back to the commentary the team in the arena. coming into the ring is, will be Joe with bacon. <laughs> now, bacon is not only a very good agility dog, bacon holds her agility gold warrant. Uh, she's a showgirl, she's been placed at Crufts every year she's been shown here, and she's a TV star, most recently appearing in the Channel 4 drama Top Boy, where she played Marnie the dog. And she certainly knows her way around here, doesn't she? Make sure you touch the contact, oh wonderful. Right, runner two is Becky with Bella. <laughs> Becky has been involved in agility since she was 14 years old. She's got three other dogs at home, and two of those also do agility. Bella, well, there's never a dull moment with Bella, as you can hear. She's full of character, and sometimes shows her up going around the course. Described as sometimes being a bit like a bull in a china shop, which I think you can see. Um, she gets really into it, very excited. Her favourite things in life, apart from agility, are bedtime and cuddles. And she has the ability to always put a smile on someone's face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Bella. Now we have Avril with Dakota, the first two of her dogs that will be running today. Her fiance, Lee, will be running the second one. Dakota is now very good at agility, but in first, when he did it, he didn't see the need to hurry around the course, preferring to stop and say hello to the judge and to mingle with the crowd on his way round. He is now slightly more focused. And at home, his favorite thing is to get on the sofa and then bury himself under a duvet or throw or anything else that's handy. And that happens even on the warmest days. You remember those, we have a couple in June every year. And a weave. And well done, Dakota. Next up, we have Angela with Belle. She will also be in the YK States final later on today. I think that's about four o'clock in this arena. At home, Bella lives quite happily alongside Angela's other dog, Zach, also a Stafford. She started competing in agility last summer and thinks she knows how to do it on her own. She's also a good showgirl. She recently was best in show at the East Anglian Bull Terrier Club, sorry, Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club Open Show, and reserve best in show at the East Midlands Show very recently. Beauty and brains, and definitely a sense of humour. <laughs> See what I mean about a sense of humour? I tell you, if the Terrier group was a circus, this breed would be its clowns. Well done, Bella. Next up, we have Sandra and Marina. And Sandra tells me that Marina is very pretty, but wasn't at first in the queue for brains. 
the lights are on, but there's no one at home. I think we're still talking about the dog. But she does love agility, and she is at her happiest when she is competing. She's a very bendy dog, and she has reached the highest grade in agility. She competes all across the country and enjoys the caravan trips to go around. At home, she lives with two other Staffords, Skipper and Bosun, as well as the new baby in the house, a Springer Spaniel called Totty. And her biggest joy is just to run. Very fast through the tunnel, this young lady. And a very nice weave. And well done, Marina. Right, now we see Squirt with his handler, Laura. His usual handler can't be with us today, but as the handler we have today and the owner used to work together at Battersea, that's how she got herself here today. Ali Taylor is the head of canine welfare at Battersea, so Squirt is, of course, a Battersea rescue. Squirt enjoys the good life, goes out on the road giving displays educating and promoting responsible dog ownership. Really enjoys this, as you can see. At home, she lives with a Doberman and two Chihuahuas, as well as any amount of assorted Fosters. Ali always says that she's extremely lucky that Squirt came into her life. I'm certain there's never a dull moment at home with this young lady. Through the tyre and a, well, I was going to say a lovely weave, but a, a very different weave to finish. This is individual style, ladies and gentlemen. Squirt and Laura. Now we have Gemma, Gemma and Ruby. Ruby's, when they got the, the dog first, when they got Ruby, the boyfriend wanted a Stafford. Ruby arrived and decided she belonged to Gemma. I'm sure we've all been through that. She's a very girly girl, so that's why her name is on a pink board. Don't panic too much, ladies. A very tough and sturdy breed, this. It only took her one year of competing to reach the highest grade. So well done for that. At home, she lives with another dog. It's a Puggle. That's a Puggle Cross Beagle. And she also has just started agility training. Nice round of applause for Ruby, please. Next up, we have Joe and Mouse. Full name, Mighty Mouse. You'll see why in a minute. Just look at the height he gets over these jumps. His first season was excellent and he gained his agility bronze warrant. He's also a show dog, having gained a junior warrant there. In fact, he is the only Stafford to hold a show junior warrant and an agility junior warrant. That's one achievement for this breed. So well done, Mouse. He also does some acting and has appeared in modeling, uh, ben, sorry, modeling magazines as well. He's been in the Dogs Trust commercial for Bowden clothing and on the cover of Your Dog magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, nice. <laughs> the next runner we're going to see is Kerry with Rhea. Rhea also came as a rescue dog, this time from the Guildford Rescue Group, Staffordshire Rescue Group. She was only a pup at the time, but she lives at home alongside the family's three other dogs and the cat and a golden doodle, who is her best friend. As well as agility, she also discovered recently at the Suffolk Dog Day that she's very good at lure racing. So more talents to this young lady than you would think. 
Kerry says that Rhea is a sweetheart, very much a mummy, a mummy's girl, and at home her nickname is Baby. Again, a nice weave to finish. Over the jump, well done, Rhea. Now we have Diane and Billy. Billy has not been the easiest to train. He's quite laid back, but he has got there and he's doing very well. He's very good with other dogs. At home, he lives with a cat who greets him by rubbing his nose. Now you think that's a very brave cat. However, if you've seen the size of the cat, you'd know it's a very brave Billy. He does go out to adult training classes. Sometimes they work. Some adults get trained very well. And his favorite thing is to sleep on a fur rug on his recliner chair with a heated pad and to listen to DAV radio. But he's not spoiled, of course. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Billy. Now we have Kerry and Millie. Millie is also rehomed from Battersea, who do wonderful work with this breed. At first, Kerry took a while to build up Millie's confidence, but once it started, she got a mind of her own. Frequently has little fits of naughtiness in the ring, and Kerry has often left the ring in fits of laughter over what's happened during the course. She's been in many different finals for agility. At home, she lives with a collie called Finn, and she loves dogs and humans alike. But her particular favorite thing is having raspberries blown on her tummy. I think that's the dog, but it could be Kerry, I'm not sure. <laughs> Next up, we have Angela. This is Zach. Zoka, Zach often has another handler, 11-year-old Lauren, but sadly she can't be here with us today. So Zach is being run today by Angela. He's not the fastest nor most motivated Stafford, as I think you can see. He's very partial to a biscuit or cake or even a sandwich. So if you're sitting on the lower ringside and you've got your lunch on your hand, on your knee, I suggest you grab it in your hands quickly because it could disappear. He has been known to go and socialize and help himself. He's got a lot of nicknames. Dennis the Menace is one of them. Um, he does enjoy life, but as you can see, very much at his own pace. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Zach. Next up, we have Laura and Mia. They've competed many times in agility and indeed have represented Great Britain at the European Open Agility Championships for the past three consecutive years. A superb achievement and a great accolade for the breed. They've also competed at Olympia and will be going to represent England at the British Open Agility Finals at Crufts this year. Mia can also be seen on the packaging for Misfits Dog Treats on the Scruffy Bites packet, so photogenic as well. Perfect pet, lust children and lust to be cuddled on the sofa. Ladies and gentlemen, Mia. Next, a little bit of rivalry here. This is Simon with Naylor. His wife will be running a different job. So there will be some domestic rivalry. At home, she lives with two other staffers, one of which is Rhea, who was running earlier. There's also a German Shepherd dog, a cat, and a stroppy teenager. And it was that one that ran her at Crufts in 2010. I'm not gonna say she's spoiled, but at home her name is Princess. I'm sure you can imagine why. She still acts like a pup, despite now being over 10 years old. She's easy to train. She hates being naughty, she just wants to please. Ladies and gentlemen, Naila. <laughs> Next one we're gonna see is Ian and Boson. Boson was a foundling. 
Ah, literally dumped in woodland. Happily, he found his way to Ian and was able to be successfully introduced to a Stafford pack of male and two females. He's also been trained as a gun dog. He's been featured in Shooting Times and Country Life magazine in the unusual gun dog sections. He's also, because of the magazines he goes in, been on the Queen's coffee table. Quite an unusual job for this breed, but they'll take to anything. His nickname at home is Percival Privilege. Or should I say, Sir Percival Privilege. Little further, Bosun. Little further, just touch the white bit. Go on. Yes, well done. He says, hang on a minute, let me have a breather. He said, you just said I'm a foundling. I was lost in woods. Give me a chance to catch my breath. Oh, here we go again, he says. Recharge the batteries. Well done, Bateson. We now have Catherine and Stella. Yet another rescue dog. But see what you can get out of these rescues. She's affectionately known at home as Spider Pig. I'm sure you know where that comes from. She lives with Catherine's two border collies, keeps super fit by training twice a week, and again, she has also reached the top grade in agility. She's also qualified for the Olympia semi-finals twice at Stoneleigh. Stella is the overall winner of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier Agility League in its first year of operation. Well done, Stella. Right, this might be our last runner. This is Lee and Safi because somebody hasn't arrived. So we're just hanging on a minute. Lee is the fiance of Avril, who you saw run earlier. She's a very reliable and consistent agility dog. Started to slow down a little bit with age, but still re really enjoys herself, as you will see in a minute. These days, she's a little bit of a couch potato, and her favorite thing is to sunbathe in the garden on the summer days. I don't know when we get summer days, but I'm sure it sounds like a nice idea. Again, because of her age, we've just dropped the fences slightly, so off we go. Oh, I hope I'm this fit when I'm that old. And look at the grin on her face when she goes over these jumps. She is really enjoying this. See, that's the way to do it. Well done, Staffy, one of our seniors. Yeah. So I think that's it. Oh, just a minute. Sorry, I'm getting a message. He's arrived. Well, are we letting him run? Oh, Excuse yeah, me. Yeah. Um, I'm very sorry. I, I went out last night. <laughs> I, I know. I have to call this. Well, it was late gating the night and go, you see, and then I woke up in a skip with Frank, so we're too late to enter the course. Shall we let him? Come on, shall we let him? Cheers. All You're right. a very nice lady. Thank you. Thank you very well, much. Thank you for the lady. Uh, thank you. Do you want me to hold that? Thank you. Right, I'll just thank get you. Frank organised. Okay, you get him organised. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank of Battersea Rescue with the fabulous Mr. Paul O'Grady. Uh, terrific round of applause there for Paul O'Grady. Great dog, man. He's uh, told me that he's, he's absolutely mad key on Stafford's now. Uh, I thought he might have been coming to run Olga here, but he hasn't. But uh, great uh, reception from the crowd. I don't know how good he is at agility, but he'll try anything once. 
for those of you on the web who haven't seen Paul, Paul has run some very successful television shows in this country. He's a, he's very, he's a good comic, he's a good actor, and he doesn't know what he's doing. But th this is good. He's won lots of rosettes for both agility and obedience. He's a lovely dog and will do anything to please. Oh, well done. Hey, well done. I really think we should have gone through the tunnel. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, seeing as you've Have you got first aid here? Oh, yes, I, I've got first aid. But I think seeing as you've arrived late and everybody's done the work, you can stay now and do a bit of work. She's tough, this one, isn't she? I am. Yeah. So, right, if you take that side, I'll take this side. Where do you want me then? Over there. Okay. Okay. It's Bacon and Bella. That's not a meal. That's right. who's running. Who's on this side? Yeah, who's on this side? They're pushing right. us, apparently. You shout, you shout for Tell Paul. Tell it's a bloody waste. OK, go. Us. Come on. Shout for your side. Come on, for my side. Come on, cheer these dogs on. Let's hear them for Bacon. Come on. Go on, Bacon. Come God, on, lad. Bella. Come Go on, on Bacon. Give Bacon a cheer. Come on, Bacon. Come on, Bacon. Away. And the winner is... Bacon. Bacon. Is it bacon? It's bacon. Oh, well done, bacon. The next two up are Dakota and Marina. Who have we got? So come on, shout for your favourite. Let's see if we can drown that side out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we okay, have Dakota on, on this side. Come on, you cheer for Dakota. No, Marina, take a notice of her. Marina, she's got too much of this. Come go on, on Marina. Go on. on, go on. That cheated this dog then. Cheated. Go on, Marina. Good girl. Hey, good girl. Go on. Boy. Hey, Marina. Let's see ya. Go come on, on, Marina. Come on. Hey. Who's the winner? And the winner is Marina. Oh, no. No, that's his side. Well done, Paul. I'm oh, sorry, the judges have got a bit. It's the coaster who won that. Oh, hooray! That's our side. You have another try, Paul. Hey. We've got Mouse and Ruby now. You want me to do what? We've got Mouse and Ruby now, so you can have another try to win. <laughs> OK, all right then. So who have you got, Mouse or Rooney? OK, come on, we've got Mouse. Come on, shout come on, for Mouse. Let's hear it for mine. Come on, boys and girls, let's hear it for Mouse. Ruby, come on, Ruby! Ruby! Come on, mouse! Come on, Ruby! Look at her, look. Look, she's like fat of a whip around the way she's flying on oh, Come on, Ruby! Oh, through the tunnel. Come on, Gal. Go on, Gail. Hey! And Mouse is the winner! Mouse is one. Hooray! And, and the last next? two are going to be Rhea and okay. Millie. Who have you got? Have you got Rhea or Millie? We've got Millie. Millie. I've got Rhea then, so let's hear it for Rhea. Come on. We've That's got Millie. That's spelled R-H-E-A. Come on, Rhea. Come, Come on, Rhea. Come on, Rhea. Come on, let's hear it for Rhea. Give it a bit of encouragement. Come on. Go on, Rhea. Yeah. Go on, get, go on. Come yeah, on, yeah. Millie, there she you is. can coming do up, it. Coming up, coming up. Yep, yep, she's on the seat, so I wanted to go on that, but they wouldn't let me. No, no, come on, Rhea. Go, Gail. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Hey! Who's and wrong? the winner is Millie! Wow, well done, our side. Couldn't win an argument, mate. Oh, so it's after eight minutes. Oh, no, it's a rosette. I thought you had sweets there. I was bloody starving. I haven't eaten all morning. I had a kebab at three o'clock, but that was it. OK, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now, in the runs off that you saw earlier, they were all actually being timed. And we have a special presentation to the winner for the team competition you saw earlier. 
in the fastest time, 22 seconds, it's Frank with Mr. Paul O'Grady. Where's Frank? Frank? Oh, really? Oh, well. <laughs> Where am I going to go with that? I can't get that on. Well, you can if you like. Yeah, go on then. Mind you, you stick the pen now. Have you got a bit of blue tack? Yeah. There you are. It's another good soup ruined here. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Frank. Look what we've won. All right, okay. Frankie boy. Okay, fantastic. With that, ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round Thank of applause for Christina and Paul O'Grady and the East Anglia Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club. Thank you very much. So here come this uh, lovely lineup of Staffordshire Bull Terriers from East Anglia. I've seen plenty of these dogs before because uh, <clears throat> they regularly turn up at the uh, Suffolk Dog Day, and I'm involved in that. And great to see Paul O'Grady there. As I was saying a little bit earlier, good old Paul. Uh, on his television shows, he has uh, always been a great champion of rescue dogs. He really cares about them. And uh, he tells me, as I've said, that he really is now a great fan of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier now. And uh, I don't know how many he's got, but I'll bet it's not just one. Once he gets a phobia about a thing, not a phobia, a mania about a thing, he follows it right through. I don't think he's ever had such a big rosette. I don't think anybody has. No. So. <laughs>